Hi there. Today we will learn how to use L298 dual motor controller module with Arduino Uno and we will have a breadboard with two buttons to control the motor to run in dual direction. Let's start how we will do this. It has four pins and you can see one jumper here, uh, one this and one is this. Uh, these two jumpers are using for um, PWM purpose, pulse with modulation. Uh, you can use uh, in simple words this is using for uh, controlling your speed of motor. Uh, these two pins are for uh, pin, uh, high and low for this side of your motor controlling your motor and these tools are for this side of your motor also you can if you are providing power supply more than 12 volts you can remove this jumper and this will if you want to use two motors and dual sides as this is H bridge module you can use two motors if you want to uh, use single side motors you can attach four motors provide by providing high at from this these ports and ground from this this port and uh, these will also works as you can see i created the circuit with two buttons by providing 12 volt to l298 and module attached DC motor and three male female jumpers attached to my Arduino Uno. As you can see, eight, nine, and ten ports. Now attaching PWM to most the PWM the most right one and other two nine eight with these now it is attached already we attached the DC motors now also I am providing five volt from my Arduino Uno to the board at the right side of the breadboard. Also, you can see attaching this is yellow for positive. As you can see, the green cable I am attaching with 12 volt, volt section. The 5 volt, this is 5 volt section. I am providing 5 volt. This is yellow cable providing two more mother buttons and these two, two and three ports using an input attaching two buttons. Also, this white button using the ground for both buttons. And I am also using 10k to capacitor for both buttons. Let's have a look of sketch that I created for this project. As you can see, in this sketch, I am using two constant variables. 2 and 3 for button 2 for forward and 3 for reverse and temporarily using 2 variables making these value to 0 button state F and button state R and setup I am going to use 3 pin as output 8, 9 and 10 and 2 for inputs but uh, two and three pins to getting input from 
the button states and loop I am doing to get states for both buttons and if button state f is high then I am going to digital writing pin 8 to high 9 to low and digit analog writing at pin 10 250 is the pulse width modulation 250 value which is almost very high and button state r to zero also if button state r is high then i'm going to opposite of this eight to low and nine to high and I'll again and log right to 250 and the end i'm going to making delay for one second let's upload the sketch and give it a try works i attached fill volt to the my module as i press button one button it will start moving have a look as you can see oops let me try again as you can see each button press it's moving let me place the for clear clear view i am placing the cable again as you can see as i'm placing the button it's changing the direction in next video i will do this using bluetooth module till then take care and goodbye